welcome to the next video. Last time I was talking about um, rocket science of carbohydrates and fats. Today, well, we'll get a bit closer to the uh, low carb diets. Very often people ask me, uh, oh, write me a program, a diet program. Yeah, I'll never do it. Never. Waste of fucking time. Yeah. Why? Because only, only robots would follow. And yeah, there are human robots. There are people that just, you say to them, hit the wall with your head. Boom. They hit the head on the wall. They bleed. They come back to you and they say, yes, sir, is that strong enough, sir? No, hit it again. They go and do it, right? And this is a human robot. This is a type of personality it takes to follow a diet on a piece of paper. Taken from a nutritionist who uh, took your calorie intake out of blue sky, and maybe from somewhere else, from some calculation that's just based on averages across the population. And who knows if you're not so average? You know, 70% of people would react to something average usually. And are you the average person? When it comes to uh, fats intake, you'll have to be really. <laughs> really testing yourself. Th there would be something like, um, say, Charles Poliquin in his seminar is teaching uh, about the equator rule. So basically, if your ancestors come from a place close to equator, somewhere in Africa, for example, your carbohydrate intake might be as much as 80%, um, your protein might be as much as little as 15%. Uh, but if your ancestors are Eskimo, or uh, you know, Siberians, something like this. Uh, you're probably better off having a very, very low carb diet because it, your ancestors didn't have the genetic apparatus to um, to uh, handle these carbs. Now, it's all not everything because during the life you would have you would have uh, changed. You, your uh, insulin sensitivity and very often as kids we're eating sweets here uh, chocolates candies etc etc and everything has sugar added these days over the time we can be quite lean as uh, young people and one day it just gets messed up and what do you do then well you, you have to change into low carb because you have to undo the damage of the carbs, the simple carbs, yeah? Obviously the, the complex carbs still get digested into simple carbs. If you put a white bread in your mouth and wait for five minutes, it will become sugar because your your, <laughs> your mouth is producing enzyme that is, that's digesting carbohydrates. Now, very short, very short rule, yeah? If your ancestors are coming from the places on the planet when 500 years ago they were eating only fish, or virtually only fish, make a research where you're coming from. Yeah. If your ancestors have been farmers for thousands of years, if you're Chinese or if you are Slavic, yeah, you can have carbs quite safely. On the other hand. If your ancestors have been doing carbs all the time, but you are fat, and especially fat around the uh, subscapular area, so basically pinch the fat just under your shoulder blade. If it's more than 10 millimeters, as a rule, I'm not saying this is this is definite, um, but as a rule, over 10 millimeters fold used with uh, measured but with a proper caliper. You probably shouldn't have too much carbs. I have slightly above, and I have carbs. Uh, it doesn't make me very fat and healthy, no. But if I reduce them, I, I know I would lose fat even quicker. But it's not my goal in life. So these two rules, okay? If you <laughs> if you qualify for low carb diet, well, next video is for you. 
if you qualify for a high carb diet, so say your ancestors have been uh, know, Serbians or Bulgarians or Polish or Russians or Africans from somewhere from Ecuador era, especially. Yes, that's one. Then your subscapular fat is below 10 millimeters measured by with a Harpenden caliper. You qualify for high carb. And if you lean, if you can see six pack and you, you qualify for you qualify for carbohydrate diet. Okay, so we'll go closer to those two in the next video. Sorry, th there's just one of them because that's too much to talk, and I, I'm trying to make it as short as possible. Um, see you next time then. Bye bye.